Welcome back to the show. Now, it's time to learn to love those leftovers with Erica Drum. So, and this is, literally is a leftover dish. It is a leftover dish, but absolutely delicious. That's the one thing. I know it's not the sexiest thing to be talking about <laughs> leftovers. Okay, I've got mashed potato, or these are actually baby potatoes. Another deadly tip. Don't bother with the peeling. Skins on. Leave Lovely. the skins yeah, on. Lovely. They're yum. They're full of fibre. They're great for, for us nutritionally. I'm just going to throw that under here, but I used a masher. You could use your hands. Okay. Right, so straight into this, I'm going to put bits and bobs that you find okay. in your fridge. I've got some sweet corn. These could be cooked or raw. So you could have maybe a roast dinner and then you've got bits of carrot left over or bits of broccoli. Chop them up and go through. Be, you know, really uh, open-minded, looking at the different things that are in your fridge. So you put in raw carrots. It doesn't matter then if they're cooked or raw or whatever you have. No, okay. I've grated it. Now, yeah. if it was big chunks, you know, Karen, it probably wouldn't be ideal because this isn't going to be cooked for long enough for those chunks to get really soft. Okay. Yeah. But if you've got cooked carrot, then chunks would be lovely. Mm. Scallions as well. We know we eat these things in a salad, so they're okay to not be massively cooked. This is another great one for food waste, guys. And you're all about that, Connor. Connor's like, loving it. Yeah, Saving yeah, money. Yeah, yeah <laughs> 700 quid a year we all waste on food waste. Quid. And the thing that most people end up throwing in the bin is exactly what Erica yes. has in her hand there. Pre-bagged salad. salad leaves. So, oh, salad. everyone just chucks it away. Yeah, I'm guilty. We're all guilty. I threw away two bags today. Like, yeah. we try our best. We're, we're all guilty. Well, one thing I will say, it's about storage as well. I take mine out of the bags pretty much as fast as I can, wash them a little bit if I need to, and into paper towels and rolled, or a designated tea towel. So your what? tea towels in your house. Why well, keep the tea towel then in the in fridge? fridge. No. Perfectly in the fridge, in Got a tub where maybe. Fridge full of tea tubs. Fridge full of tea <laughs> And then you yank one one day <laughs> to get my something. Hot and it, yeah. <laughs> anyway, look at that, right? We'd probably throw that away. Yeah. All yeah. it is, all it is, yeah, is scrunched a little bit. It's totally fine. It's beautifully edible. It's perfect flavour. There's rocket. There's everything going. Are we it. too snobby about we you know best before or use Oh my bite. God! It's but only a suggestion. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, okay. It's only best a suggestion. Best before is still usable. Yeah. Use, if it's veg. Yes, yeah. used by... We've actually stopped taking them off, some of our veg, because, um, right. yeah, laws came in that we were allowed to take them off. We had to use our better judgment, things like carrots and potatoes and stuff like that. But look, that gets chopped through. We all know the taste of rocket. It's peppery, it's herb. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. We've got herbs as well. They give great flavour. So that's what going in. What have you used? I've used coriander and basil. Lovely. Could use parsley, chives. Um, anything really woody ones during the winter, if it's if it's leftover roast mm. chicken, then you can put in some rosemary in there. There could be meat going in here, but today I'm making a vegan version. Um, I'm using Hellman's vegan mayonnaise, and this is absolutely delicious, but also a really good product for vegans because a binder here would have been um, eggs, mm. and because we don't have we don't eat eggs, or I I do, but vegans don't eat eggs, then this is the best you know, help, assistance to help. Glue. It's a super glue. Yep. And in terms of the taste, are we noticing a difference between... Oh, I actually just taste I tasted it for the very first time and oh, I couldn't I tell the difference. I love your taste I, test. I, <laughs> you compare mince pies <laughs> and everything. Now you're doing the same thing. Honestly, I couldn't we'll tell the difference. Stop in the working this much. <laughs> I couldn't tell the difference Could between this one and the regular so, Helmets. Okay, okay, so you're not compromising on no. any flavour You're not. It's absolutely delicious and and you can you buy either and they'd be the same. So. With that, Connor mentioned earlier that salad is one of the top things that we waste. This is probably number two. Um, Connor, I don't know if you've I'll seen any. I'll just lie and say, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we supposedly, now it's a UK, uh, UK status, but 24 million slices of bread a day in the UK. Wow. What? A million a day? A day. Ooh. That's about two million loaves a day. Go in the bin. Go in the bin. Like, how scary is this? Imagine our the grannies. Energy. They'd be like, what? All the energy used to make well, it as well. Oh, you can't even, you yeah. can't even think about yeah. it. Anyway, we won't preach too much, but this is just you tips. She, you're going to blitz it. I'm going to blitz it and turn yeah. it into breadcrumbs. So they're stale. They've got corn. Even if there's a bit of, you know, cuts, cut the corners off. That's what our grannies did. And then blitz it. I'm not going to do it for too long, but do it in one of these little machines. If you haven't got one, I want there. We've started doing that at home. Rather than buy breadcrumbs, just yeah. any bread. And just as it's, you know, not as fresh, shall we say. Yeah. That's what the best time Perfect. to Perfect. Um, I'm actually using some for my coating and some for uh, inside to kind of glue my, okay. my cakes together. Okay. By the way, you know what I learned? Now, I don't know how you guys would feel about this. I came across this yesterday. Yeah. There was a, an episode of The Chase on that in the UK, Chase. a bakery start using mashed potato in their lemon drizzle cake. What? Sounds like my idea of heaven. Yeah. <laughs> I love that idea. Wow. Why are they doing for that? texture? They just used it for, for a, a it different be for texture. texture. And it's so. That is fascinating. It was huge. 
cake and potatoes together at last. It's the dream. <laughs> I love potato. Like, if we think it like this. You need a potato well, bread, This is a lemon suppose. drizzle potato cake, then. There you go. So I'm going to just put my gloves on and get my hands dirty. It's actually a great, a great recipe for kids. We were just talking about kids earlier because they're seeing you use up the leftovers, which is brilliant, but they're also helping you, you know, you could use bits and bobs and you could ask yep. them, what would you put in? What would you like to put yep. in or whatever else? So just get your hands dirty. I've seasoned it as well. Don't forget salt and pepper. This is really subjective. You can put in whatever you want, but try and keep my kind of uh, recipe with the, the measurements equal so that you get a good texture. If you're using homemade mash, some people are, sometimes I am as well, 50% butter to mash. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit softer, so yeah. you might want to add a bit more breadcrumbs. So then I've just roll it into it, depending how big. You could do little ones for school lunches, do nice big ones. We're smoking up here now. Hopefully I can... Sorry, this that is getting is quite hot. hot. Well, um, do we need a hot pan? That's what I was say. You, you do, need you do. But look at these inductions, it's okay. We'll bring it down. Are you good at using up the leftovers as soon as you're a consumer? I am actually. Um, <laughs> the other thing you do is you can actually just, if you've got loads of vegetables, you just chuck them all to a pot, add stock and you've got vegetable soup. It's a really yeah. handy it's way so of using true, a lot but of it's, uh, it's hard to make it a dinner. Yeah. And that's where I think leftovers has been a difficult challenge for people, is making it, like a soup is great, because we can blitz it, and I, mm, don't yeah. get me wrong, I'm, I'm not against it, but so, something like this, where it makes it more substantial yeah. as a meal. So I would serve this, two of these for your dinner, and salad on the side. Two and of that, them, I'd eat four. Okay, four. <laughs> okay. So you need to get extra portions when Connor's coming around. Yeah, that's no okay. problem, Connor. I have loads coming on there. But you don't need to, like you're popping more breadcrumbs on there, you don't need to like put a bit of egg on or anything to no, get the, the breadcrumbs to stick. No, Well, you nice. can, but this is for vegans, so we can't tonight. You don't need to. Yeah. She's right though, Karen's yeah. right. It's, it's got that stick in it. You're bringing it all together. Yeah. It saves time and mess. Put doing the eggs and everything. What is the stat in terms of how much waste the average household uh, gets rid of every year? It's the same as the weight of a small car or something like it's, that. It is it? 700 quid a year. It's 700 quid. Oh. I, I, it's, oh God, I wrote it on my Instagram. Something, <laughs> something like seven, uh, 600 kilos of butter. That was the equivalent. Wow. It's, it's just massive. But the thing is, we have to relearn. That's all. It's, yeah. it's not going to be too hard. Um, we've done it before. I know, do like our mothers did. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just going to make a little dip because I think when you're making a dinner like this, really nice and crispy. We're, well, we're down add, to a minute. Yeah, we're down to a minute. We got it. So we're putting in a bit more of this, a little bit of harissa, which is a lovely spice. So we're just making a kind of spicy mayo to go oh, with lovely. it. Okay. Chili paste. Okay. If you can't find that, what could you... Let's use a little part. bit of chili powder or chili flakes, a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to put garlic and lemon, but I know you want to do questions there, Martin. Okay, so well, well, yeah, there's one in, and it's, it, it's about the house raffle, Connor. Um, Grace from Loud wants to know, does your house have to be in pristine condition to be raffled? I'd have to spend a fortune on doing up my house before I could <laughs> raffle it. Morto with the cracks. No, absolutely not. Once you tell the person what the house is like, it's buyer beware so they know what they're getting into and even if somebody get, wins a house that's a little bit run down they've still got a free house so. Will they come in and view it? No, no, no literally it's just even view it. You look at the pictures Karen that's all you need You're getting a free house Yeah <laughs> But you bought a raffle ticket For a fiver But okay, well, okay. well, of course because there's so much going on on social media you're seeing lots of Exactly, them. exactly okay. uh, These look amazing This is what you're eating Connor Oh it's I can't believe it I'm never allowed in the kitchen <laughs> <laughs> Well you are now You are uh, tonight uh, yeah. That is all we have time for this evening A big thank you to all of our guests to uh, Connor here and of course to Erica for dinner.